from her home in Cairo, Etimad Abu Tahoun watches with terror as, hour by hour, the television news relays the devastation wrought on Gaza. Her only son, 23-year-old Momen, is trapped in the Palestinian territory. A brief, broken video call confirms he is still alive before the signal cuts off. Etemad, who is battling health problems, is trying to crowdfund enough money to pay for her son's escape. I will help him to escape from the killing, and his presence will be my support as I navigate the challenges that lie ahead. Escaping Gaza isn't easy. Egypt has closed the Rafa crossing to most Palestinians, fearing an exodus of refugees. But money talks. Since the Israel-Hamas war broke out in October, Egypt has permitted just a single travel agency called Hala to operate cross-border journeys from Gaza into Egypt, what it terms a coordination. The firm is based in the office of its parent company, Organi, in Cairo. Its fees have reportedly risen 14-fold from the pre-war price to 5,000 US dollars per adult and half that for children. That's far beyond the means of most Palestinians, especially those who have lost their homes and livelihoods in the war. Many have sought financial help from friends and family or launched internet crowdfunding campaigns with desperate pleas for help. Mohamed Raed, a Palestinian medical student based in Cairo, is crowdfunding to pay for six displaced family members to escape a refugee camp in Gaza. I'm nothing without my family, so if I want to continue my study here and succeed in my life, I want to see it in my, in my family faces and eyes. So if they're not here for me, so all my, good, uh, all my efforts, all the things I do uh, went in vain. Halla did not respond to VOA requests for comment. The agency now accounts for 40% of all crossings from Gaza into Egypt, according to the Cairo-based Arab Organization for Human Rights. It says accusations of profiteering are an attempt to divert attention from Israel's actions and praises Egypt's effort to send aid into Gaza. We commend the admirable efforts of this community and country grappling with their own economic difficulties for providing significant support. Despite protests in Cairo calling for a change of policy, the Egyptian government says it has no plans to open the Rafah crossing with Gaza. With little food or shelter, let alone money, most Palestinians are trapped with no means of escape from this brutal war. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News.